I think Anthony Edwards has the aura argument over all the players that are behind him. But if we're just talking straight basketball, uh, I think Jalen Brunson, uh, Tyrese Halliburton, they've all been better than him um, and have impacted winning more than him. And given that he's not the most impactful player on his own team and it's Rudy Gobert, that would be the other conversation to be had. I definitely support it. And respect so you it. take Ant off the top 20? No, I wouldn't take him off top 20. I just, he's not in front of Halley and some of those. 14 is just too high for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this list essentially with Anthony Edwards on it, he's where he is on potential. And what he's he on like. aura. No, no, aura. Aura. So what, he, like, what it looks like. People like the way that he like, you know, moves on the court. It reminds them of Jordan uh, or Kawhi in 2017 or, you know, all that other stuff. You know, I think, uh, I think Ant, you know, he's been really good, but I just think if you put him next to Halley, like it's just not even really much of a combo this year. But I think Holly missed time. I think that's what that's what Doc Holly. Yeah, that's probably and right. and um the other half of the court docked him. But I mean, I guess straight the other half of the court. I guess we. I, you know what I come to realize? We pick and choose when we care about defense and players, and comparing defense with players. We pick and choose yeah, sure. when, it, when it matters, and that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm just sure if Holly had defense. Rudy Gobert and Jaden Daniels, he would look a lot better too. But he's just not going to be the same be offensive talent. He, he he'd no no be no. That's cool. I'm good with the defense, but Holly also. Argument for the best offensive player in basketball this year outside of Luka and Jokic, maybe. So, like, he, he so was up there when he was running. Yeah, Mars, he's not. But he's not. Just say argument first. Why no, no, you say I'm argument? saying yeah, best, but outside of prior, the just say argument for third. Yeah, but those, yeah, those are two it. of the best. I know, you know, she won't like this, but these are two of the best probably eight offensive players ever. So, yeah, Halley's on the way there. But Halley was, like, 27 and 12. And, again, everybody, cover your ears. Like a 67 true shooting prior to where he went down. So, like, he was he was doing great things. I think a lot of this was, like, you know, he was, his scheme definitely was slanted and the roster slanted toward his passing. I have no issue with that. But, like, Anthony Edwards is, again, his defense projection is better than what his defense is right now. That's just where it is. Doesn't mean he's a bad defender, but he's also not the defender everybody wants him to be. Like, he's not going to be in second team all NBA talks. Defensively, that's just this is just not. I don't think anyone's asking for that, but I think the fact that you know what, one's a it's, one's, yeah, a, one's it, a clear positive and one's a clear negative. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, that's it, cool, it, it, but that's not how basketball works, though, Mars. Like, we don't we can't just weigh it that way because we have clear offensive we're players that are about a slight player negative. versus player who's better. Well, than yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying, no, but, I'm but, not but, saying but, it, better because but whatever the, the but whatever the gap is between them defensively, which is cool. Ali is a like a a tier. You think he's, he's a significantly a better, better player? Better? You think he's a significantly better player? Than, yes, than, than, he's a, he's he's a much better playmaker. He, his head. scoring, his scoring was on par and better than what Ant was doing this year. Let alone the playmaking and passing. So, like, just from a three-level score as a three-point shooter right. and a pull-up shooter and a pick and roll operator, I know y'all right. like this. Right. Like, <laughs> it was cooking. They were doing. They were doing numbers. And then he went down with that injury. Tried to come back. Hadn't quite been the same player yet. But yes. If you give that Halley a full season without that little hamstring injury and all that, I think Halley arguably is sitting ahead of Devin Booker right now. He, but he's coming back. He he, he, we we gonna have a whole second half of the season. He gonna remind y'all right. what happened and what it was looking like during the whole in season tournament I mean, I, run, I, I, during, right. during the whole twenty seven and twelve run when he was putting up historical numbers. And I tried to come up here and tell you guys he's literally doing historical things and everybody just kind of let it roll off off their shoulder because of a, a certain someone that was up here hating on Hadley. But uh, Swiper, I'm glad you up here speaking the real to the people. Keep digging in that uh, cookbook that you got. Mars, there. I'm not Mars. I'm sorry, Ron, you son What's of a up? you know what. You're going to sit up here and talk to us like, like you wasn't telling us that Halliburton wasn't the best point guard in the game earlier this year. That was the logic that you were giving us. He was the best the lead guard game. in the game. Was he playing I said the great? Best but which is nasty. He, but with, with with that being said, sure. I think he was. I think that there was a point where he had something ridiculous, like a like a eight to one assist to turnover ratio, which is which was fantastic. Yeah, it was it was a stretch where he had one turnover in like five games. Yeah, it was, like it, 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 it was ridiculous. Right. I, I right. I can definitely get with that. But I mean, when you talk about Anthony Edwards, when you talk about him, you talk about the defensive aura. I mean, there's a difference between <laughs> there's a, there's a difference between the defensive aura and actually what it looks like and actually producing. I mean, Anthony Edwards, it looked good, but I'd like to think in addition to it looking good, what was it producing? I mean, they're the best defensive team in the league. That ain't just because Rudy Gobert's on the crew. It's not that's because not, of Ant. That's not just because Rudy Gobert's on the crew. Anthony it's not Edwards because of Ant. 
And it's not just because of Jaden McDaniels. 100% that had something to do. It's not just because of them. Anthony yeah, Edwards has the two to do best that. defenders at their position on the court next to Anthony Edwards. Yeah, that's a which, big deal. Which enhances my defense. Michael Jordan, as great as a defender as Jordan was, <laughs> it looked a lot better when he was running with Scotty. It looked a lot better when he was running with Scotty. <laughs> Play a choice, boy. Yeah, them boys don't get it started. The play a choice, boy.